This is the round of 16 of the first ever Hard Times 10 Ball Cup right here at Sharks. My name is Noel Zarate, and the first match for today will feature Aaron Reyes going up against Ronnie Alcano. Unahin muna natin to si Aaron. Ano? Alam naman natin, Tagalaguna ka rin, katulad nitong idol mo. Ta, na, galing ka sa culinary business. Ba't mo naisipan lumipat sa pagiging professional billiards player? Uh, kasi po, dito ko po naramdaman yung passion ko na nandito po. Okay, very good. Nakalaban mo na ba si Ronnie dati? Hindi pa po. Okay, so first time. So, kamusta naman ang pakiramdam? Papasok dito sa laban mo? Okay lang naman po. Maganda yung pakiramdam. Alright. Ayun nga, Champ, ilang beses ka na nakapasok dito sa Sharks. Kabisado mo na halos sa mesa. Ano naman ang makikita natin sa laro mo ngayon? Anong naidagdag mo pa? Uh, ano lang, practice-practice. At saka, kumbaga, ano, para maging maayos yung laro. Okay. Ikaw sa, isa sa mga favorites na, na manalo nitong ating torneo. So, ano naman ang masasabi mo dito sa bata mo kalaban? Ayan si Aaron. Eh, kumbaga, nakitaan ko na rin yan ang potential na, na may galing. Kaya, good luck na lang sa amin dalawa ngayon. And good luck, of course, to our 16 players who will be seeing action starting today. Our first match for this afternoon, Aaron Reyes going up against Ronnie Alcano. Welcome to the round of 16 of the Hard Times 10 Ball Cup. Our first match for this afternoon features Aaron Reyes versus Ronnie Alcano. And good afternoon po sa inyo lahat. Ito po si Noel Zarate alongside AJ Ong. At sa ilang sandali, ito na. Maglalag na for the break dito sa ating Race to 7 round of 16 matchup dito. Magandang gabi sa lahat ng mga Shark Kinetics natin na nanonood yeah. ngayong yes. afternoon. Good afternoon. Yun, ha? Pwede nang managalog. <laughs> Ganun pa. <laughs> International pa rin naman tayo. Eh. I'm yes. sure dami nanonood dito. Ito na yung mga pros natin. And they have entered the building. Yan po si Aaron Reyes. We're going to get to know more about him. The 31-year-old from uh, itong sa Santa Rosa, Laguna. Taga Laguna rin. Mm -hmm. Battle of Laguna nga itong ating Ayan. masasaksihan. And uh, Aaron Reyes has uh, won the lag at siya yung unang sargo dito. Again, race to seven, alternate break. Medyo mabilis sa magiging kaghanapan natin dito. Itong si Aaron Reyes, of course, won his matchup sa ating round of 32. And he's able to make the nine ball on the break. Kita naman dito ang uno. Not quite sure kung maninipisan niya pa ito into the side pocket. Mm, mukhang kaya naman na. Kaya mukhang kaya naman niya ito sa side. Mm -hmm. Ingat lang sa siyate. Eh. Si Aaron Reyes nga po mga kaibigan, as we mentioned during the interview, was a former culinary arts practitioner. Parang si Chef Gary Arago, no? Yes, oh, Chef Gary. Yeah. Chef din pala itong si Aaron yes. Reyes. No? Sa culinary arts siya tumagal, naging hobby niya muna yung billiards, and then eventually he decided na Ano kaya? Ito na lang kaya maging karir ko. And he has been a professional billiards player since last year lamang. Oh, almost crash. That was a high risk, high reward shot. Yeah. Yung kanina, that came off from that uh, one ball on the side. Tapos mm -hmm. tinamaan yung siyete. Tapos yun, na natakpan na itong dos. Ayan, wala siyang offensive option dito unless he takes on the 10. He did not call it. So it looks like there's going to be a safety shot here for the 3. And he will use the 8 and the 10. Nice touch. It's the first time ni Aaron. Nakausap ko kanina, first time ni Aaron pumasok dito sa ating Sharks Den. And first time din niya makalaban itong si Ronnie That's Alcano. Right. That's right. Yan po, Aaron uh, Reyes, 31 years old. Former culinary arts practitioner. Yung kanyang bahay ay katabilang daw ng Enchanted Kingdom. Talaga? <laughs> <laughs> Tipong paglabas mo daw sa exit, uh, papunta Santa Rosa. Kitang-kita mo ng Enchanted uh, Kingdom. Kasi bahay niya right next to it. Ah, <laughs> pwede pala. Oh. Uh -huh. oh, tara, type, type mo bang mag ano? Alam mo, the last rides? time nagpunta akong Enchanted Kingdom was oh. the year 2000. Ang tagal na. <laughs> tagal 20 na talaga. years. <laughs> Grabe ah. Nah, well, I remember, nah, sorry, I remember taking my kids when I was like, I guess 2004 and 2005, pero yung nagbabad talaga ako doon was 2000. 
yung buong araw kahalos nandun. Talagang nakapagod yeah. talaga yun. Uh-uh. Well, this is a good result para kay Aaron because Ron is now queuing over the four. Taking on a tricky three ball dito. So, maagang spadahan between the veteran. Itong si Ronnie Alcano and si Aaron Reyes. Si Ronnie, alam naman natin resyo mo nito, no? 2006 world champion. Wow. <laughs> wala siya. <laughs> Bali, wala kaso nga lang yung pato saan pupunta. Uh, It's gonna go down. Yun lang. So, pato, the table is kind of, uh, ano itong ngayon, no? Um, Masasabi natin, medyo nag-iiba yung mood ng, me- ng mesa natin minsan. Sa gabi, magandang uh, gulong niya. Pero paghapon, medyo sumpungin. Yun, sa temperature yan. Mm, that was a weak attempt. Yeah, trying to get rid of the six to get position on the five. He is completely offline. Itong si Aaron Reyes. So, kamusta na mga shark natin sa atin? Maaga pa lang yata, nandiyan na sila. Yes, magandang gabi sa 272 viewers natin for hapon this afternoon. Pa yeah. oh, hapon pa lang. Magandang hapon pala. Lagi mm. ako nasasanay, gabi. <laughs> <laughs> Baka gabihin tayo niya ginagawa mo yan. Oy! Nako. Scratch going the other way naman. So, tagi isang foul na yan. But Ronnie Alcano is going to erase his with the shot on the five. Magandang hapon kay Ryan San Juan from Angeles City, Pampanga. At pati dito kay Carl Ocampo, sabi niya, AJ and Noel, I enjoy listening to you guys. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you also. You guys are the best. Yung mga Shark Anatics natin, yes. the guys who watch us during our special events with the pros and also those who watch us nightly. Guys, for those of you who are just watching us for the first time, we do broadcast nightly as in every night. our amateur players in the Sharks' nine-ball showdown. So this is the first ever Hard Time Stand Ball Cup. And of course, yung Hard Time Stand Ball Club, uh, Cup was in honor or actually made to inaugurate yung Hard Time Sports Bar, the Yun. latest, hottest billiards uh, place in the, metro- in the metropolis uh, along Timog Avenue. Doon nagsimula itong kanilang torneo. 32 players on the five tables doon sa... Sa hard times, it's Ronnie Alcano. Makes good on rack number one. Yes. And he breaks the serve of Aaron Reyes as well. He will be breaking here in rack number two. That's win number one. Yeah. And of course, we would like to thank our sponsors, Bugsy Promotions, Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Billy's Resort in Oslo, Cebu, Aqua V, Mud Cakes by V, V Lugao, Ang Lugao ng Cubao, Kekarex Kayanong ng Target on air sa DZME 1530 kHz, Bounce Apparel, Music Avenue, Vehement, all about the process. De Adista and Liamadista Sports Bar in Timog, Quezon City. Outsville, Magic Chalk, JB Cases, Thoroughbred Layer Tips, Billiard Planet, Rapa Commercial, and of course, Hard Time Sports Bar. So, Ronato Alcano is now going to be breaking the man from Calamba, Laguna. Sabi nga natin, Battle of Laguna ito. Yes, that's si, ano naman, Santa Rosa, tama? Santa Rosa Santa naman. Santa Rosa, Laguna naman. Mm-hmm. So Alcano now to break, leading one to nothing here in this race to seven. Mm. He lost the cue ball on the break. And it's a dry break with what should have been an easy layout, pero yung dos at saka gis nagsama. Nagsama nga, nagdigit nga itong dalawa. So it's now ball in hand for Aaron Reyes. May nagtatanong dito, so kaano-ano ba daw ni Efren Bata Reyes itong si Aaron Reyes? Malamang, ano, um, wala. <laughs> <laughs> Reyes is like the fifth most, uh, one of the top five most common names in the country. That's right. Mas malapit yung nagtanong kung, si, kung kaano-ano ng ating JR magbantay si Jonas magbantay. Yun, medyo, medyo suwak pa yun <laughs> kasi konti lang magbantay. You know, And the answer to that is they're not related. <laughs> they're not related. <laughs> well, able to get the one, but prep for the two comes up short dito. Para kay Aaron, you can still understand the jitters. Napapanood ni Aaron yung mga laban natin dito sa Sharks. And he's finally mm-hmm. in this building. He will kick at this two. Not quite sure if he called the 10. Did not call the 10. And he'll actually try to use the 10 as a blocker. Yeah. Good result for Aaron Reyes.
Yeah, try to bring back the cue ball to that spot, but this will do. So again, coming off a successful uh, campaign ng ating round of 64, itong si Aaron Reyes and tries to play a distance safety. If he makes the four, he's in trouble, but he does not. So kita para nito ni Ronnie. So, nag-kick siya. And, tinan mo naman. Legal shot. <laughs> Nicely done. Yeah. Ito si Aaron Reyes actually defeated John, John Mark Castronovo to make it to this point. At ito naman si Ronnie Alcano. Tinalo naman si Ado Tadike. At ang balita natin dyan kay Rudy Marmohica was actually on the scene. Halos karamihan ng mga laban umabot sa decision. Race to six yun. Talagang ano ah. Mahigpit. Oo. I iba talaga pag alternate break eh. Oo. Oo. Ibang bagay talaga yon Kasi kahit na pasok yung break mo, eh kung yung kalaban mo, pasok din ang break niya. Oo, oh, yun ah, din. din. <laughs> Di ba? And it also, well, sometimes it doesn't guarantee. Like kanina, si Aaron Reyes won the lag, got the break, but lost the first track to Ronnie. Very crucial ngayon ang lag. Diba? Yeah, yeah. But also, Ronnie, when he sees an, a layout like this, parang tala mo na eh. Bigyan mo na, AJ, kung gusto mo. <laughs> Ganun ba? <laughs> Kamusta mga Shark Anatics natin dyan? Pati ba naman dito? <laughs> eh mga pros, pati ba naman dito? Eh si Efren nga, nadali mo eh. <laughs> At syempre, kasama natin yung mga PNP boys, Yan Robin na. Hood Cruz, represent, and uh, kay Sure Breed. Dapat yung profile picture nyo, PNP boys, yung logo. Yung logo mismo. <laughs> Para ma-identify kayo kaagad. <laughs> Ay nako. Sabi niya, shoutout po sana kay Totonio at Chef Vidal. <laughs> Kung nasaan man kayo, Oo. dyan lang kayo ha. Boring daw, ano? Boring. <laughs> Ay, nako. So, wala nang problema rito as far as the roadmap goes for Ronnie Alcano. Well, Just bounce up one rail for the six. Um, play the seven and the nine separately. It's Just the eight, ten na kahilera dito. But that combines for Ronnie. So, therefore, it's safe to say. <laughs> Ayan na. And then, Guys, look, at, look at the rack naman uh, kasi. Number one na yan, ha? Mm. <laughs> yan, legit na yun. Ang tumatawa ka. Ito kung legit kuma, na yan. Kung kumanto yun talaga, iba klase. Na-safe to say mo rin to dati si Ronnie. Eh. Ganun ba? Mm -hmm. Nung, nung rotation, na-safe to say. Rotation ba yun? Uh -oh. Ayan, at syempre, kasama natin si Apple Sarmiento mm -hmm. Good and afternoon. Nick Patrick. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. Wherever you may be watching us from around the world, just tell us where you're watching us from so we can acknowledge your presence here watching the round of 16 in the first ever Hard Times 10 Ball Cup. We will have five matches today. And this is for the win. Ronnie has called the 10 ball to take a 2-0 lead against Aaron Reyes. And that's it. 2-0 in favor of Ronnie Alcano. All right, so we just showed you a snippet of... Th that's no joke. Huh? There were no lighting effects in that uh, commercial we showed you about hard times. That's really what it looks like. Yon. I mean, we would be honest with you saying, you know, it's, uh, they, they spruced it up. No, they did not spruce it up. That's how sexy the place looks. That's really. right, that's right. And now uh, the break by Aaron Reyes yields the eight ball. And this break is brought to us by Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Ropa Commercial, and Hard Time Sports Bar. Looks like he may have, if he can get this one, he may have a pretty good 
flight path for this rack. If he can see enough of the one. It looks like he does, though. Looks like he does, but... Naiilang siya dito sa nuebe. Yeah. Medyo manipisata yung nakikita oh, niyang panama yeah. okay. dito sa uno. Okay. And he's against the rail, so Masing might be challenging. So he's just gonna send this up and down, it appears. So he's gonna go for a push out. Okay. This is actually a better option. Oba. <laughs> Good afternoon sa aking ama na nasa bahay ngayon. The Zimatarsi, the Zimatarsi is <laughs> awake. Sabi niya, STS, model ka na pala ngayon ng hard times. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a, yeah, my partner AJ Ong was in that commercial, unfortunately. Unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he unfortunately rolls this into what should be a kick shot. I don't know if Ronnie's going to take this on. He can see part of the one. Yeah, Ronnie's going to hit that part of the one that he sees. And uh, if he's uncomfortable with it, he can return it. But if he can get enough of the one, he can pull in the three ball. So you know you did a good safety when one of the veterans, one of the world champions, thinks about it. Or a good push out, rather. If one of the world champions can think about this now. Because if Ronnie does see enough of the one, he can get the three and that's, it'll open up the table. No. He doesn't want to risk it. He's going to pass it on to Aaron Reyes. Mm-mm. So now Aaron's at the point of no return. He has to take the shot on. He's looking for a 1-3 combination. Oh, here. Kung, kung manipis, kung kuha niya yan. And he gets oh. close. That's why Ronnie didn't want to take it on because that's the Nakita only way you're going to hit it. Uh -huh. Diyan pumapasok yung experience. Yeah. I mean, it looked good from where it was left. But as I I don't think I'm going to make the shot. He'll make this one. And even if he made the one ball, does he have enough for the two? Mm, yun lang. Kasi yung plano dun, hindi papasok sana yung uno. He does have a lot of hiding spaces here sa ilalim. So how are you doing, Sharkanatics? Is it raining where you are? Where are you watching us from? Let us know. Ignacio Montaña, is this in the Philippines? Yes, it is, Yes, sir. it is. <laughs> it is in the Philippines. It's in one of our secret hideaways. In fact, the most secret billiards hideaway in the world. <laughs> really? Ronnie decides to Nila take it on. Wow. Wow, what a shot. And suddenly the coast is clear. For Ronnie Alcano, it's getting from the four to the five. That's going to be the most challenging part of this layout. And he played that with excellent speed. Good afternoon, Mark Valbuena. There you go, one of our Sharks players. Yeah, and to Edward Hoffman as well. It's raining in Seattle. It always rains in Seattle, Edward, come on. Rains nine months of the year in Seattle. <laughs> and also to Gabriel Medina in New York City. There you go. In New York, it must be somewhere past one in the morning. He's still okay. Ronnie's trying to get a 3-0 lead here. And this will really put a dent in the confidence of the young pro. Of course, our referee is the legendary coach Ramon Monching Mystica. Yun. The guy who has turned so many amateurs into brilliant professionals. Not only in the Philippines, but of course abroad as well. He spent a lot of time in Canada. 
We were talking about Enchanted Kingdom earlier, sabi ni, Co- ni Coach Monjing. Alam mo, ang tagal-tagal ko na sa abroad, ang dami ko na naikot na, na amusement park, never pa ako nakapuntang Enchanted Kingdom. Talag. <laughs> <laughs> Dapat puntahan niya. Oo. Lapit sabi ko sa Tara Coach, sakay tayo roller coaster, tayo dalawa. Pwede yun. Game! Ganun nun siya. Game! <laughs> Or should I copy him? Game! <laughs> <laughs> Palanoyin natin yan. Mm-hmm. Ronnie Alcano, 3-0 up. Yun na nga. Three, three wins. Yeah, three. <laughs> three wins. Three straight racks won by yes. Ronnie Alcano. Of course, we would like to thank our sponsors, Bugsy Promotions, Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Belize Resort in Oslo, Cebu, Aqua V, Mud Cakes by V, V Lugaw, Ang Lugaw ng Cubao, Kekarex Kayanong ng Target on Air sa DZME 1530 kilohertz, Bounce Apparel, Music Avenue, Vehement, All About the Process, Dehadista and Llamadista Sports Bar in Timog, Quezon City, Outsville, Magic Chalk, JB Cases, Thoroughbred Layered Tips, Ropa Commercial, Billiard Planet, and Hard Time Sports Bar. So Ronnie Alcano has broken the break, or broken the serve of Aaron Reyes twice, and he is now back in this alternate break of race to seven, trying to make this a short matchup or a, sh- or a whitewash if possible. We shall see. This break is brought to us by Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Ropa Commercial, and Hard Time Sports Bar. Mm, again, the cue ball went out. And this for is this, yeah, on his second time to break. So he's two for two in scratching the cue ball on the break. We also have Erickson Del Barrio. Champ. Eric Salud. Architect. Magandang, ano, magandang hapon sa inyo. These are champions also of uh, Sharks Nine Ball Showdown, which you can watch every night right here. 9 p.m. Philippine time. Again, from Ignacio Montaña. I'm watching from the U.S., but I'm from Latin America. I'm hmm. planning a trip to the pool paradise, the Philippines. Oh, yeah. After the COVID. Of, of course. course. Of course. The first stop that I can recommend is... Hard Time Sports Bar. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking about five tables that look similar to this. It's not exactly the same table because there, there's one table there with tighter pockets. There's one table there that's a little lower, but they're all Brunswick tables. And that, for me, is like the paradise in paradise. That's right. So let's see if Aaron Reyes can pick up win number one here. He's had a shaky start. against the former world champion, Ronnie Alcano. Aaron Reyes is walking proof that no matter how old you are, you can still make the decision to turn pro. This guy was a chef. And now he has uh, left the culinary world behind to pursue his His true passion, which is professional billiards. And he has traveled the Philippines quite extensively as well. He was in General Santos City for several stagings of the Manny Pacquiao Cup. He's also been to places like Iloilo and the northern parts of the Philippines as well. So well-traveled and uh, slowly getting experience points. Perhaps the best experience points he can get if he's able to beat Ronnie Alcano. That's right. At na nga, he's going for win yeah. number one here. Malapit na to. That place you mentioned to visit, is it in Manila? It is in Quezon yes. City in Metro Manila. As Aaron Reyes finally picks up win number one, and he will be breaking in rack number five. Let's check out what hard times looks like. A 
so there you saw again um, the guy, your person you're talking to. Yes. See si, uh, Ignacio Montaña. Yeah, Ignacio, you saw the, what it looks like. I mean, we're not uh, we're not dressing that up. That's exactly how it looks like. So we are now back to this round of 16 matchup between Aaron Reyes and Ronnie Alcano. And this break is brought to us by Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Ropa Commercial, and, of course, Hard Time Sports Bar. Successful break. Shot on a 1-9 combination now. 10 ball went in. It's mm -hmm. going to go back on the spot. It's one of the hardest things to do, actually, is to pot the 10 ball in, uh, on the break in 10 ball. Yeah. But same thing with 8 ball. Same thing with eight ball. The moment you make the eight on the break, the eight is respotted. But it sometimes depends on the on rules. On the rules, yeah, that's right. There are some rules that that allow the eight ball to be potted, and that's a win, a golden break. Yeah. yeah. In ten ball, it's pretty clear. So this is a good opening safety shot now. Apple Sarmiento, two fifty puba an hour. Jan's a hard times. Yes. yes. 250. It's not bad. Yes. Yeah. Playing on a Brunswick table. Come on. Full blast yung air con jan. Oh, yeah. Diba? And if you, if you get lucky, you might actually see AJ Ong, my partner. <laughs> the guy who was in the commercial. <laughs> you might actually get to see him playing there. Yeah, he's the one with the, uh, with the uh, no, carbon fiber, using carbon fiber mm, yeah. Q. Yeah, he's the one with the carbon fiber Q. What is your Q stick, by the way? Uh, Revo, Predator oh, Revo. Revo. Yeah. 12.9. So, so challenge AJ Ong. <laughs> Safety battle has begun. <laughs> Sabi ni Robin Hood Cruz, kala oh. ko makakita ko ng, ano, ng heart sign dun sa <laughs> heart that, that would be Ronald Oka. <laughs> <laughs> <Yun na. laughs> From Nick Patrick, that's less than you pay to play on a Brunswick or a Diamond yeah. in the States. That's true. 250 is around how much? Uh, it's about... In US? Mm, about five bucks. Five bucks? Yeah. How much is an hour in the US, Nick? It's got to be It's got to be more than five dollars. Aaron Reyes has opened up the table once again. So judging by the layout here, the only guy who can stop Aaron Reyes is Aaron Reyes. And AJ Ong when he says safe to say. <laughs> now here's the key shot now. Because the Three four does four. not pass the seven. And it looks a little awkward playing it as a combination. So he'd want he'd want to get it. In an area where you can shoot it in the opposite corner. Or the side pocket if he clears the five. Nicely done. Good navigation. Five bucks. Yeah. Ten bucks if you don't know the staff. <laughs> really. <laughs> so pretty much the same. Here, of course, if you've heard stories about how hospitable the people are in the Philippines, um, it's always five bucks. And everybody in the Philippines is usually a very amiable. So Aaron Reyes trying to mount a comeback here. He is down three racks to one in this race to seven alternate break. This is the round of 16 of the... First ever Hard Times 10 Ball Cup to inaugurate Hard Times Sports Bar. And again, that's where they had the round of 32. Wow, it's 25 an hour in New York. $25 an hour. So that's... That's a lot of burgers. <laughs> a lot of burgers. That's the way I'd equate that. That's about uh, 25 sabrettes. <laughs> <laughs> And a shout out to Henrik, rooting for Baseth Mukaibat. Uh huh. Unfortunately, I don't think Baseth made it. Really? Yeah. Uh, Baseth Mukaibat was eliminated um, during the round of 32 by Johan Chua. By Johan Chua. Yeah. 
later on today, you will see Johan Chua going up against Carlo, Carlo Viado, Viado. And that was a weird preparation on the nine. And it might cost uh, Aaron Reyes, who was doing so well until he had to get to the nine. Might cost him the rack. Jitters for the guy who's playing here for the first time. Ronnie Alcano's played here like 20,000 times already. <laughs> and this is for a three rack lead. 4 1 now. It's already 4 1 in favor of Ronnie Alcano. You know, Ronnie's one of the guys who's really favored here in this competition. Yeah, but at this so point, we want to thank our sponsors. Of course, we would like to thank Bugsy Promotions, Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Billy's Resort in Oslo, Cebu. Aqua V, Mud Cakes by V, V Lugao, Ang Lugao ng Cubao, Kekarex Kayanong ng Target on air sa DZME 1530 kHz, Bounce Apparel, Music Avenue, Vehement, All About the Process, Teadista and Liamadista Sports Bar in Timog, Quezon City, Outsville, Magic Chalk, JB Cases, Thoroughbred Layer Tips, Billiard Planet, Ropa Commercial, and of course, ang paborito nating tambayan dito ah, Hard Times Sports Bar. And I bet you right now, all of our Sharks players are there. Really? Because they don't have any pro. Yeah, because the pros, the pros are all here. So mm -hmm. therefore, our amateur players who perform every night here at the, at the Sharks 9-Ball Showdown are all practicing there now. Yon. So if you're Sharks fans out there and you happen to be in the Quezon City area, drop by Hard Time Sports Bar. You might see some of the Sharks there. And this break is brought to us by Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Rapa Commercial, and Hard Time Sports Bar in Quezon City, Philippines. There was a ball made on the break for Ronnie Alcano. However, he has to push out. And maybe he can push out by breaking up the 6 and the 8, which will be a problem later on. So I'm looking. He probably could push out to a bank shot. And a special shout out to Jericho Banyares. Panday, si kamusta? Panday, ayan. Uh, Papalapakan niya <laughs> daw si Panday mami pag nakashoot. Ha? Ito, pinapashoutout niya si Berting Kayabiab ng Barangay Pitonggatang. Yan, magandang hapon po boss. Berting. Yan si Idol Jericho. Uh, of course, may laban mami ayan. Or actually, bukas pa. Bukas pa ang kanyang laban. No? Against uh, the silver lining. Yes, Nikoy Lining. Antonio Lining. Oh, that uh, attempt by Aaron Reyes to play safe behind the two does not work. He'll sell out the one to Ronnie. And Ronnie, with this shot on the one, can actually try to break up the 6-8. Let's see if he does that. Mm -hmm. But missed on the one. Not a promising layout here. Yeah. Trying to study if the six passes the eight or is it welded against the eight? Welded to the eight, rather. So, California, it's between $10 to $22. That's a lot of money, guys. <laughs> per For hour. An hour? That's a lot of money. Ten dollars. That's how many burgers at In and Out. You know, I misko. Yeah. Burger. In and Out Burger. Saan yung Bay City? Bay City. That that's San Francisco. Bay. Kalo ko base base pala. <laughs> Bay City. It, they say B -A B A Y. No, it's B A I S. Bay City. I have no idea where Bay City yeah, is. Braddock but. Romero. Uh huh. Oh, great break up there by Aaron Reyes. And this was coming off a miss by Ronnie Alcano. Now he has to play safe. Yeah, the or thing is. Uh, he's let's see. Yeah, he's gonna play safe. He's gonna play it safe behind the eight ball, and the cue ball does make contact. So that's a legal shot. Contact with the rail. 
So this has been the story of Aaron today. I mean, he would run out to a certain point and then have to play a safety after he did a great job actually just breaking up that pile. Ronnie's just going to make contact with his sixth ball. That's yeah, a good shot. Ah, sa Negros pala yung Bay City. Okay. Yeah, so so it looks like we're reverting to our old because we do have a lot of foreign uh, viewers today. I think we'll be reverting to our old old style of me right. just speaking in straight English and then AJ uh, doing some vernacular stuff. Vernacular stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so by the time we get to the Sharks nine ball thing tonight, I will be so exhausted. <laughs> just kidding. So he's gonna try to send the cue ball to the other side. Try to get behind the nine. Or behind the 10. Doesn't get there. He's going to sell this out again to Ronnie. Yeah, he has a shot on the side. If Ronnie can see enough of this, he might try to go to the corner. I don't know, but he's, the way he's queuing. It's for the side. Yeah, it's for the side. So Ronnie Alcano looking for a 5-1 lead in the round of 16. Again, Ronnie's one of those guys who are favored, who is favored to win it all. This did not help him though. He can still make the nine. Is he calling it into the side? Yeah, he called it on the side. Gonna thin out the nine on the side. This is gonna be a difficult shot, but if he can get this, he's automatic on the ten. <laughs> Need money denomination to burger converter, <laughs> Edward Hoffman. Okay. Yeah, Edward's the guy who likes burgers too. A great cut shot there by Ronnie to the side, and he's got this elementary ten ball. Who had? <laughs> Cue ball skipped on him a bit too, but he's still able to make it. 5-1 lead now. Look at this. For Ronnie Alcano. Two wins away. And Aaron Reyes. He's trying to take a deep breath, trying to get to his happy place. He needs to step up his game. Yeah, he is going to be breaking here in rack number seven. And of course, we would like to thank our sponsors, Bugsy Promotions, Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Billy's Resort in Oslo, Cebu, Aqua V, Mud Kicks by V, V Lugao, Ang Lugao ng Kubao, Kekarex Kayanong ng Target On Air sa DZME 1530 kilohertz, Bounce Apparel, Music Avenue, Vehement, All About the Process, Dehadista, and Liamarisa Sports Bar in Timog, Quezon City, Outsville, Magic Chalk, JB Cases, Thoroughbred Layered Tips, Ropa Commercial, Billiard Planet, and Hard Time Sports Bar. And this break is brought to us by Ropa origin and hard times this is a dry break but fortunately for aaron reyes is that ronnie does not have a shot on the one he's going to push out ronnie alcano maybe he's going to push for a jump yeah let's see 46-year-old from Calamba, Laguna, former 2006 World Pool Champion, has won almost everything that has to be won in the sport. And probably what many of you don't know is that before he became a pool player, he actually wanted to become a professional basketball player. And this is his push-up. To uh, try and follow in the footsteps of his father, um, Ricardo Alcano who was a professional basketball player mm -hmm. in the 1970s. Pero siyempre, iba yung tinahak niya. Yeah, yeah. Well, his father was six foot three. I mean, really? he's, he's hardly six feet tall. He's about 5'10", five, 5'9", five, five, Ronnie. Ronnie, yeah. 5'10", five, 5'9". Five, his father is six foot three. And a special shout out to Paul Aguila. Oh my goodness. Paul that, Eagle, watching here from Binangonan. One of the, uh, what do you call this? The most dangerous men on the planet. <laughs> Paul Aguila. He's going to force Ronnie to jump at this one. 
makeable into the side, of course. And he's calling it the side. Nicely done with control. And with that shot, Ronnie Alcano could be on the hill very soon. So this is going to allow Ronnie easy access to practically everything here. Except, mm. okay, yeah, looked he's like good, he's good. I thought he wasn't gonna clear yeah, the me four. <laughs> and we may see a four ten combination after this. It all he's depends. looking at it. Yeah, he's looking at it. If he could get to that spot, mm. he left well, the he, three, and he wasn't going for the combination anyway. So suddenly, what appeared to be a rack that Ronnie Alcano could bring home is given to Aaron Reyes, another pretty open layout. It's pretty open. Again, Aaron Reyes not related to Efren. Yeah, that's right. Because you might be asking, <laughs> is that Efren's son? No, it's not Efren's son. Oops, okay, still good. It's, yeah, it's good. Yeah, these, these tables are finicky. Sometimes they slide a lot. Today, they're the, the table's behaving today. Fell yeah. a bit short there yeah. for the eight, but still okay. You might have to go around, or is he going to try to play this with inside and try to hold position? Yeah, inside. Yeah, inside, yeah. Nicely done. Last three balls to get his second win. So that was one mistake by Ronnie Alcano. And the three ball got gargled out of the pocket. So Aaron Reyes now with win number two. We are entering rack number eight, and Aaron will have to watch Ronnie break in this rack. <coughs> From Albert Sopena. You were saying, AJ? Yeah, from Albert Sopena. Uh, good luck po sa lahat ng players na maglalaban-laban sa tournament na to. Regards to all of the players and stay safe always. That's right. Yon. Ronnie Alcano is now breaking and this break is brought to us by Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Ropa Commercial and Hard Time Sports Bar. One ball goes down, six ball almost. Shot on the two and it looks like it passes the three but it is a distance shot. So this will now be a judgment call for the 2006 world champion, Ronnie Alcano from Calamba, Laguna. They call him the Volcano. No judgment needed there. Suddenly, it's an open rack. It's an open rack. He is trying to get to the hill. 
This is a race to seven in the round of 16 of the Hard Times 10 Ball Cup. Well, therefore, if it's open... Oh, don't do it. <laughs> okay, I won't. Yeah, there it may appear open, but because of the traffic down there, he might run into some trouble. Let's see how he navigates this. Does not like how he landed on the four. He's calling it into the side. Mm -hmm. Oh, good cue ball control. Played that with right spin coming off the rail. Okay, go ahead, AJ. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only concern. If he could navigate some of those balls, but he's okay. Nice shot there. I think he landed a bit straight. Uh, he has yeah. a bit of an angle. Yeah, he does have a bit of an angle to bounce off one rail, probably even two to get preparation for the eight. Should take this one. on the side. Wow, that's just... This is something that always amazes me with regards to cue ball control. That's one thing that the pros have that the amateurs will have to work on. It's not the potting because everybody can pot, at least here in the Philippines, but it's the cue ball control getting from one shot to another and getting to the desirable pocket, not to the pocket that presents itself. Because sometimes you want to get to another pocket for an easier opportunity for the next ball. Ronnie's on the hill. On the hill. Ganong kabilis, no? And ito, Liang Tsin Yen, good afternoon sa lahat. Ha? Yes, sir. Pati yung mga PNP boys natin. Put the logo as your profile pic. <laughs> That's we'll right. We'll know you're part of us. You're one of us. <laughs> and also to Stanley C. Tuiko. Yan, shout out sa'yo. There's Aaron Reyes. Get a good glimpse of this gentleman because he is breaking to stay in the match. Ronnie Alcano is now up six racks to two. We are now in rack number nine. And since Aaron won the lag, he's breaking on every odd-numbered rack. Trying to stay alive. This break is brought to us by Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Rapa Commercial, and Hard Time Sports Bar. One ball will be deposited. He'll see the two, but there's an issue here with the four ball. Yeah, it does not pass the eight ball. So it's, he may yeah. have to play safe there. It has safety written all over it. Yeah. Siegfried Olpate. Mm -hmm. Shout out sa yo. Sabi niya murder daw laban, pero. Siyempre, let's not uh, discount this guy right here. Well, Aaron you know, Reyes. our next matchup is going to be something that I'm... Ooh. Aaron missed on the two. Yeah. Our next yeah. matchup will be Edgy Jeronimo going up against Levan Corteza, followed by the matchup between Carlo Biado and Bubwit himself, Johan Chua. And then Jeffrey Ignacio will take on Brian Sakiped. And the final match of the day will feature Francisco Bustamante going up against Mark E.J. Kunanan. We are only in the round of 16. We are going to play until we have a champion. We have three days in this phase of the tournament. Started out with 32 players last Sunday. And we did have our fair share of upsets along the way. So what's he going to do here? He's calling the eight ball, actually. Yeah. But we may see Aaron back at the table here. No, he's got, well, if he's calling the eight ball, he might actually play an offensive shot at this. Yeah, but it's not a gimme, of course. This is Ronnie Elcano. <laughs> yeah, we shall see about that. <laughs> so he's going to play the right side of the four. He 
He's having second thoughts about this one. He did call the eight in the corner. Now he's going to bank it. Okay. So it's going to be a combination bank. Look at that shot. <laughs> That's it. And still holds position for, for the, the four. four. Nicely done. Shout out to Weng Pugasa. Ooh. Well, this goes nowhere. Seven is blocking the bank. We may see Aaron back at the table now. Uh, he doesn't want, he won't like what he sees though. This still kicks. Ronnie came up about a few inches short, getting perfectly safe behind the 10. He's going to kick at this five. It's going to be an offensive kick, it appears. Well, he went for the corner. Didn't leave anything easy for Ronnie. From Siegfried. Sabi niya, biyado talaga inaabangan ko. Malapit na. Yeah, that's uh, two matches away. Yeah. Pero siyempre, panoorin na muna yung... Biyado Johan Chua. My yeah. goodness, that's gonna be a good one. Panoorin na muna niya si Lee Van and yeah. si Edgy Hieronimo. That's later. next, yeah. Okay. Yes, on the five and, and scratches on the side. And that could be all she wrote for Aaron Reyes. Had a good run, defeating uh, Jean-Marc Castrono Castronuevo. In the round of 64, a round of 32, rather. Just unfortunate in the part of the draw that he has to go up against Ronnie Alcano. But he could still survive this. It all depends on how he performs now in this rack, which looks like it's going to go his way. And the remaining racks. So again, one mistake against Ronnie Alcano. This should build his confidence, really. He's never went up against Ronnie before. Of course, who doesn't know Ronnie Alcano in this country? And he just manufactures the shot. Yeah, the he went a bit off angle on the seven. Yeah. Went around the 10. Nicely done. And this one to cut the lead of Ronnie Alcana to just three wins. The chef turned professional pool player. Now makes it 6-3. to three, Still in favor of Ronnie Alcano. Back with us here at the round of 16 for the first ever Hard Times 10 Ball Cup. Ronnie Alcano looked like he had that rack under his belt but missed a key shot. But he is breaking here. 
And this break is brought to us by Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Ropa Commercial, and Hard Time Sports Bar. He will make the 10 ball. That's going to go back up again, of course. Nine ball also went down. Three ball, one ball. How many <laughs> balls did this guy make on the break? He sees the two ball. That's actually the only ball where he cannot have an offensive option on. Hmm. He's, he's going to play safe. Yeah, but he's got less hiding balls now because he made so many on the break. He's going to try to hide it behind the five. That's a pretty decent result. It's got jump shot written all over it, though. So let's see if that's what's going to be on the mind. Is he going to kick at this? Can make this on a jump shot and still hold position for the four uh, up table. <laughs> para din ni pala ni ano Siegfried na maka-arbor ng ano tako kay Efren Reyes. Oh boy. <laughs> De pero binalik naman sa kanya. Mm -hmm. oh. So sa mga nagtatanong kung ano nangyari kay Champ, ayun okay naman siya, hindi naman siya kinulong or whatever. Yeah, he was released the same night. Yeah. Yeah, this there's something, and, and I'm with Aaron on this, there's something fishy about this. This rack? No, th this, the way uh, Ronnie played the safety. I mean, it's a jumpable shot, but there must be a reason behind it. Kung kumpiyan sa sa pag-jump ko, I'll go for the yeah, jump this, here. This should have been a jump like two minutes ago, but, but he's, he's thinking about something else. Or maybe he doesn't do jump shots. There are some players who do who are still not fans of the jump shot. It could also be from scouting. Maybe Ronnie looked at this bag and said, Oh, this guy doesn't have a jump cue. <laughs> no. <laughs> Boy, they. So is he going? Two rails? She going for the direct one rail kick. So much traffic down there, though. Wow, look at that. Why jump when you can do when that? you can kick. Nicely yeah. done. Now he's got to play a 4-5 combination. Time well spent. Yeah. And that was the only problem he had. So Aaron Reyes looks to be in cruise control here in rack number 10. Could cut the lead even further down to just two. And Ronnie will be breaking for the match next time up. But a good effort here by, by Aaron Reyes to prolong this match and still give himself a chance. Remember, his match against John Mark Castronuevo went hill hill as well, and he prevailed. So you know that he's got it in him when it, you know the chips are down. He can he can just go all in on his talent alone. And that smells like steak. Yeah, you may be right. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, here we go again. It's like steak with mushroom gravy. Holy cow! There you have it. Win number four for Aaron Reyes. And cuts down the lead of Rona, Renato Alcano to just two. Yeah, Ronnie will be breaking, of course. Oh, no, check that. It's going to be Aaron breaking Aaron. because we're en entering rack number 11. Okay. So interesting because Ronnie hasn't actually been breaking well. And Aaron has uh, had a better percentage on his break. Yeah, that's right. There you go, rack 11. From Q Strokers Arabia. Hi, just to let you know that this is one of the best pool productions available. Great job, guys. Thank you very thank much. Thank you, sir. thank you very much. Thank you very much, and we appreciate that you appreciate what we do for you guys 
Actually, this is for you. Watching us yes. from around the world. Oh, cue ball has disappeared. Once again, but now it's from Aaron Reyes. Yeah, and the moment you praise somebody for breaking well, that's when Things something happens. like that happens. So it's going to be ball in hand for Ronnie Alcano. And this is really bad timing for Aaron Reyes. He was playing so well. He had won um, three straight racks. And then he makes this mistake on the break and gives this wide open layout now to Ronnie Alcano. Breaks of the game. Yeah. The two ball does pass the five as well. It's like a series of draw shots coming up. Open layout. Uh, yeah, he's just going to use. And ball in hand. Yeah. Therefore, it's safe to say. Okay. <laughs> if you say so. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Very open layout. Mm -hmm. PNP boys, he just said the magic words. Well, it's true. It's three balls away. J.R. Hippolito, shout out from Saudi Arabia. Good afternoon, or good morning, I think. It's still morning in Saudi Arabia. Sabi naman ni Nix Mendoza, medyo nakaka yung face mask ni Aaron Reyes, no? Medyo bulky. Yeah, well, it didn't sound good <laughs> when he when he let it go, but he'll still uh, be yeah. okay. Still be okay. And Ronnie Alcano will For be the, the first to enter the quarterfinals of the first ever Hard Times Ten Ball Cup as he defeats Aaron Reyes uh, via a score of seven to four. So going through is Ronnie Alcano, and up next, of course, is the matchup between two celebrated pros the reigning derby city classic nine ball champion lee van corteza going up against one of the heralded pros in the philippines edgy Jeronimo. we will have that for you in just a few moments stay with us right here on sharks <laughs> <laughs> 